Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave this here for now, because we have to deal with the Leif Shuttle. Let's focus on that. Oh, crashing. Um, well, at least it's showing me that. Oh, fine. Uh, let's go on to the opposite side. How about that? Oh, whatever. It's too touchy. Okay, let's just go there. Okay, well... Whoa, okay. Yeah, that, that caught me by surprise just for a sec. Lathe in front of Jewel, like that. Okay. Um, I don't think arrow breaking is going to work. But we might as well try. We'll save first. Try it. I mean, arrow capturing, but I'm expecting that we need to propulsively capture. Totally expecting that. But we we might as well try it with the newly thickened wings to see. Oops. Okay, that's outside of the atmosphere. I'll save. Okay, then we will try not deep in the atmosphere. We'll try 45. Carbon entry speed is 2,300 and this managed at. We're at 2,700. And Leaf's atmosphere is in theory thinner than Kerbin's last time I checked. Unless they change that. These tanks are sort of vulnerable. Because... <laughs> Uh, they're not being protected by wing pieces or anything. I'll just transfer as much as possible into the center line ones. 2,800. Oh, it's actual science we can transmit. I wonder how. But okay. It's like, this doesn't even have an antenna, but I guess it's relaying through something. You want to transmit the other one? Apparently not. Okay. Okay, leaf atmosphere incoming. We are in. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, overheating on the two tanks we sort of expected to get it on. Oh, but the center line one is also. They're, they're already. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yes. that uh, Okay, we, we expected that. Okay, so the wing wings. I mean, it's really the tank. It was really the tank heat tolerance that couldn't deal with it, though. Which might still be a problem, even with the thicker wings. But we'll see. Okay, so we're going to have propulsively. We are going to have to propulsively capture. So that is as expected. We don't have any particular place to land at this time. We had a particular location last time, but we can land anywhere, so I'm not going to change our inclination. Uh, I don't like the periapsis going that low, so... Well, unless, I mean, we are trying to eventually land, but maybe we should be cautious. I don't want to land at our current periapsis because we'd be heading into the dark, so... Let's just lift that up and then bring down the apoapsis. We'll circularize first. Okay, well, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> now we're gonna find out whether we can enter the atmosphere safely without killing all that velocity or whether we do still have to kill all the velocity. We're gonna try and land there. So we'll try a gradual descent first to see if that will work out. That would be preferable, but might not. I, I sort of wish we still had those nose cones on there, but I guess the boosters took them out. 
might have protected them a bit. We're probably going to have to lose these tanks. Twenty-four might be tough. We'll see. Yeah, we're we're pretty close to not needing those tanks anymore. Maybe we I should just get rid of them. Okay, well we are suborbital. We can probably dump those, and they'll just deorbit. They won't be debris. Don't hurt anything. That location seems further along than I thought it would be. Okay, let's see. I might have to divert to this island over here. Don't know how much we can stretch stretch this. How quickly it's gonna slow us down. Or, you know, if it's gonna destroy us, that's another option. Oh, oh, the tank. I don't know. I can't pitch up more. I'm going to try and use the RCS. No. Okay, we can't come in at this speed. Still. Ah. Uh, okay, so that's no good. Well, we'll see what speed we can actually come in at. Right now, the wings are at 0.1 thickness. But... Uh, Again, it's the tanks that are blowing up, not the wings now, so... Alright, are we at the right place to retro... Oh, not yet. So, I'll, I'll reduce our speed even more. Okay, so I'm not going to reduce our speed to the same amount that we did... Uh, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna take 1500. Let's just go 1500. I don't understand why Leif's atmosphere has to be like this when Kerbin's is fine. I mean, we, we entered Kerbin's atmosphere with this and it survived. And that was at a faster speed and in theory a thicker atmosphere. Unless, again, they've changed something about Leif that hasn't been documented properly. Because we can't actually bring up information about Leif, can we? Oh, we haven't dumped the tanks yet. Ooh, that was rough. I might have not transferred fuel. Oh well. Uh, oh, no, that's not good. Okay, no, let's make sure we transfer the fuel properly. Oops. Now, let's try that again. I dumped those tanks before they were suborbital, didn't I? I can't pull the nose up. Eek, eek, eek. Okay. Leif's got some nice beaches, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Overheating. Uh, should I pitch up or use the cockpit to block the airstream? Oh, well, pitch that down too much. I think maybe the cockpit is good at blocking the heat more than the wings. Maybe I shouldn't pitch up. All right, so reducing to 1500. With this wing thickness, 1500 seems okay. And yeah, we'll try to go over here. Now the landing. That depends on how bumpy the terrain is. Oh, it's uh, something's overheating there now. Solar panel. It can really glide around here. We really need to slow down now. 
Maybe we'll eventually find out that Leif's atmosphere has been thickened by them and it's actually super thick compared to Kerbin's. We just didn't realize that. But then what's the point of Eve? <laughs> anyway, uh, well, I guess it's not that bad, but... It's very ripply. I think we should go along the ripples. But they're sort of bendy, so it's not like it's gonna save us or anything. Just a theory. I think the contract says, or the mission says, that we need to activate the engines on the surface of Lathe. So I'm not gonna use the engines until we land. Well, seems like that would be enough space for us to slow down. Whoa, uh, no, don't do that. Oh, okay, I don't like what the chase view was doing right there. Um, chase view, can you, um... Okay, every time I try and pull up, the chase view goes to this view, so I can't use it. I don't know what it's doing. Fortunately, I'm not landing on a runway. Okay, so remember, don't deploy landing gear above 150 meters per second. Okay. Gently tapping the brakes. A lot of rocks around. Please let none of them be collidable. <laughs> okay. Stop. The landing gear is in an interesting position, what can I say? Does this count as landed? Landed. Lathe Hills. Doesn't look that hilly to me. Okay, I'm gonna try activating the jet engines. I'm gonna try activating the jet engines. Okay, it's satisfied. Gotta shut this down for now. Activate. Okay, so this'll stay there for a sec. Let's go back to Mission Control. And it's breathable enough. We have activated jet engine on Leif, and we can submit that. Made her eyes water. Handled so well in orbit. Mm, we should definitely use space planes more, but I'm not surprised it was handling well in orbit. Okay, by on the way to the party. Outfit dry cleaned, okay, good. All right, we got the science. So yeah, let's just focus on the Leif shuttle and see if we can get it into orbit again safely. First of all, it has to be on the ground. Well, nope. Well, I guess we'll wait a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe it'll sort itself out. Oh, gosh, that's taking a lot longer than normal. But okay, at least it's safe. All right, so now how much runway do we have? <laughs> That's a very important thing. We've activated our our jet engines. I think that's enough runway. We're not quite pointed easterly, but uh, we can fix that along the way. All right, and this should be off, right? Well, it says activate and status off, even though that bar is still there. So, okay, that's fine. Okay, run that. The shuttle is bouncing a bit. A crew observation. Still no connection, but I mean, a Kerbal outside doesn't have a connection. I'm not gonna plant a flag, darn it. 
Okay, grab. Up, 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 up. Okay, shift. And board. Okay. Uh, it's sliding, it's sliding backwards. Actually, that just gives us more runway, if it does that. Okay, so, without further ado, here we go. Uh, that's a bigger rock here right in front of us. Okay, it's not a collidable rock though. Not so light that it's easy to take off. We haven't used much of our internal fuel. Alright. But we made it into the air around Lathe. Oh, uh, it looks like we can transmit the science now. Alright. We have that kind of power. Still very equatorial, makes it easy to get out of here. The previous mission where we had to land at uh, more non-equatorial location. I thought it was right here or something like that. Anyway, uh, that made it a little bit harder. And also we had to rendezvous with the other shuttle, which was in the polar orbit. That makes it harder to get out of Leif's SOI. Well, certainly harder to get out of Leif's SOI on a trip back to Kerbin. So on the one hand, we want to try to reserve some methane for our return back when we hit Kerbin's atmosphere, hopefully not too hard, but I don't want to be carrying too much of it while using the nuke, so I think we can probably get rid of a little bit more than what we have right now and keep climbing. Since I don't know how thick Lace atmosphere is and what the actual atmospheric density at this altitude is, I don't actually know whether we've passed the speed of sound, but we're close to the speed of sound here. Okay. But we really need to just go with the uh, nuke now, I think. It seems like I can't deactivate these. Let me just try to limit them then. I don't want them to run out of fuel. So it seems like we'll make orbit with over 2,000 meters per second. But not only do we want to transfer back to Kerbin, we want to manually capture because there's no way this is going to survive in aero capture. Once we've manually captured around Kerbin, it could be refueled and then bring itself back down or get tugged back down or something like that. We know it can come back down from low Kerbin orbit, so we just need to get it to low Kerbin orbit somehow. But first we need to get it into Kerbin orbit. orbit. <laughs> I don't want to try to intercept it in interplanetary space. Should, uh oh, why, why are you turning like that? Uh oh, um... It was pretty stable just now and then it started to roll on one side, I don't know why. Yeah, just a little bit more than 2,000. Now, what is the return angle between Joule and Kerbin? Let's make sure we have that. That's not one I have memorized. Kerbin is behind Joule by 48 degrees. Uh, oh, we've got overheating on the way up. No, no, please. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Get out of the atmosphere, get out quickly. Okay, so we are in orbit. Kerbin needs to catch up a bit. We're just gonna leave Leif, uh, leave the space plane in orbit of Leif and go back to the space center and then time warp. Okay, that's probably close enough to 48 degrees. Now time to work some Delta V magic. Oh, careful, oh, I hate when the pops in like that. Well, at least it didn't take as long this time as last time. Okay, so... Where do we want Leif to be? That's what we need to worry about. Um, 
We need to go out this way. Leif needs to be up there. So we need to have it make another orbit. So we're exiting Leif's atmosphere, uh, not Leif's atmosphere, Leif's SOI like that. Maybe we should wait a little bit longer. But this is pretty good. This brings us below Eve's atmosphere. It's nice going straight out of Leif if you can. Uh-oh. But it might not be the right time. Because uh, now we're not... Oh no, it's a Tylo encounter. And because of the Tylo encounter, it's not showing me the result anymore because it can't do that many patch conics. Oh no. Oh, wait! Oh my god! Guys! We're going out of Lathe. We have a Val encounter and a Tylo encounter. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Hold on. There's a Lathe encounter and a Tylo encounter. I can't do this, it's too complicated. It's not even showing me- if it would show me what happens afterward, it might be that we could still go home, but... Hmm... Uh, you know what, we'll do a mid-course correction. That's pretty darn close right there. And yeah, I don't think I can fill around with it more. 1,000 meters per second to get there. In theory, if all this works out and no moons interfere with us or anything. I'll start now. Oh, 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 but point, point, point at the node, please. Come on. See, I've got that selected. No! It's really important that we do this maneuver <laughs> properly. Stop, try to point at the node. Here, I'll give you R RCS. RCS isn't helping. Come on. Okay, can you point at that? I can point at that. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Fine, I'll just do it myself, thank you. Something about this is imbalanced. Did something shift during time warp that I didn't know about? It shouldn't be newly imbalanced, so... It's very suspicious. Uh, resource manager. Gotta try and shift the fuel forward, which might help balance, help the engine point through the center of mass. But... Oh, that's the wrong way. But that really shouldn't be necessary. Well, it still f says it's in balance, even though there's no... We're controlling from the right thing, right? <laughs> I mean, control from here. Yeah. Just try and make the blue line match the orange line at this point. And I'll avoid that Tylo encounter. Okay, that's avoiding the Tylo encounter. Let's see what's happening over there. Uh, it seems like we've gone past, though. Hmm. Uh, let's see how much it would cost to do a correction out here. Right outside Jules SOI. I don't know if that is outside Jules SOI. Ten... Ten hours. Not ten hours, ten days. I don't think we're actually leaving Jewel in 10 days, though. So, maybe that's like in many years. And I better be careful. Let's let's not do that. Let's see. 61 days, fine. Okay, we have an encounter with Kerbin with uh, 87 meter per second burnout there. Hopefully actually in 61 days and not like a few years in 61 days. See if we can make that a little bit closer. 
Oh, that's looking good. 412 kilometers. Well, that's just outside the atmosphere. We'll take that. All right, 134 meters per second. Okay, let us depart, Jewel. Let's get the solar panels out. Well, first we need to depart Lathe. We've got all that planned, and we haven't even departed Lathe yet. So long, Lathe. Thanks for not killing us this time.